Hey folks, Jake over at Heartland Marine. Gonna do a walk around video. I've got an 05 Crown Line 240EX. This boat came off of Lake Texoma, right on the border of Oklahoma and Texas. I'm gonna point out any flaws, kinda let you know everything that I see. So down here, got a few little scuffs. This is just rubber from the trailer, the roller. So that'll come off with like acetone, uh, a few more here. I got a little bit of a chip. Actually, it looks like that's been filled. So that one there is fine, it's sealed. I'm not doing anything with that. So I do think that this boat was either around salt water or in salt water. Oh, just had my finger blocking that, sorry. And the reason I say that is I've got a screw here that's just a little bit tarnished and green. And like I said, I don't know if it was dipped in salt or if it was just around like a salty kind of area since it was used on Texoma. But I'll show you a few other little things. Um, Pop-up cleats, stainless steel rub rail. Of course, you got the stainless steel grab handles. I've got a repair spot coming up right here. So it's got the graphics that are kind of chewed up from getting into a dock. And it looks like they had gotten into the dock here and actually took a chip out of the fiberglass and they repaired it with some kind of filler, made it blue. I mean, from a few feet away, it's hard to even notice. A little scratch here in the graphic. Got a little bit of uh, paint peel and chipping off there. Skeg looks nice. Props are good. Not all chewed up. So another kind of thought of uh, the salt was uh, right here. You'll see I got just that little bit more green kind of corrosion. But, you know, if you look at like the drive, the bottom of the drive and the stainless steel brackets to hold the platform, I'm not seeing any pitting or anything. So, I mean, it's hard to tell. Couple more little scratches on the graphics. I'm gonna be overly picky, but just want somebody to know exactly what they're looking at. Small little scuff here. Couple of light ones here. But overall, I mean, for an 05, it's in pretty nice shape. Give me just a second, I'll go inside. All right, let's take a look at the vinyl. The back sunbed, I didn't notice any issues, no rips, tears. It's not brittle or cracked. Same thing with the flip back seat. Looks nice. We really just need to go through and wipe it down, do the full detail. But other than that, there wasn't really much that I noticed on it. I do have two cup holders that are missing. I've got replacements, so no big deal there. We'll put those in. And 
It does have a wash down station right here. Oh, looks. Uh, actually, that may be for the water tank. Yeah, I think that's the holding tank for the water. Sometimes they had a, uh, some of these models had a little pull-out hose on that side, so I think that was just the tank there. Oh, yep, here's the hose on the, right here. Storage compartment. The carpet's actually in decent shape. But if somebody wanted to replace it, they obviously have the new type of flooring. I am missing, somebody broke off that latch and that one. There's supposed to be these little stainless steel pull-ups. So I will replace both of those two latches. Boat's got 140 some odd original hours, which is just insane. Dash isn't faded. And we hadn't buffed or waxed this at all. So you're seeing it kind of as it came in. We didn't even really clean it up much because it was it was fairly clean when it got here. Captain's chairs. It's hard to do with the one hand, but they do have the flip-up bolsters. Head compartment has the uh, pump out porta potty. And the bow seats all look great. You have the fillers here for the front. Those are nice shape as well so yeah overall i mean really nice boat especially for 140 150 hours you wouldn't expect it to be any less but uh yeah my name is jake over at heartland marine if you have any questions feel free to give me a call or shoot a text my cell phone number is in the description below and i appreciate you watching